first. Prenu purchases two bags of fertilizers of weight 75 kg and 69 kg and the maximum value of weight which can measure the weight of the fertilizer exact number of times. So these are the two bags weighing 75 kg and 69 kg which Renu purchases. Now solution is weight of the first bag and the weight of the second bag has to be written down. Now the maximum weight would be HCF of 75 and 69. So 25 into 3 gives 75, 5 into 5 gives 25, and 5 ones are 5. Now for the 69, we have 3 into 23 gives you 69, and 23 1 times gives you 23. So the HCF would be the common factor amongst these is only 3. So HCF would be 3. What does this mean? This means that 3 kg weight will exactly weight. 75 and 69 kg that is no fraction would be there so this was your question number first second three boys step off together from the same spot their steps measure 63 centimeters 70 centimeter and 77 centimeter respectively what is the maximum distance each should cover so that all can cover the distance in complete steps so these are the boys they have 63, 70 and 77 as their step measure in centimeter. So the solution would be first write down step measure of different boys. Therefore minimum distance to be covered in complete steps would be the LCM of these numbers. So we will find the LCM as first we'll divide from 2. So 35 twos are 70 rest remains same. Now we'll take 3 into 21 gives you 63 rest remains same. 3 sevens are 21. Rest remains same again. Then we have 5 sevens are 35. Rest remains same. And we'll take 7. 7 ones are 7. Again, 7 ones are 7. 11 sevens are 77. Finally, we will take 11. 1 times 11. So LCM of 63, 70, and 77 is 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 11. That gives you 6930. What does this number signify? This means that if A takes 110 steps, he will be at 6930 centimeter. Similarly, now for the B steps can be achieved by dividing this 6930 by 70. And for C step, 6930 will be divided by 77, it will give 90 complete steps. So these were the complete steps of ABC. And the minimum distance is 6930. This is the minimum distance. This is how you do question number 2. Third. The length, breadth and height of a room are 825 cm, 675 cm and 450 cm respectively. Find the longest tape which can measure the three dimensions of the room exactly. So this is the room, this is the width, this is the length and the height is that. So these are the dimensions that are written down in solution part. Width or breadth is the same thing. This is 675 cm. And height is 450. So the length of the longest tape that measure exactly would be the HCF of these numbers. So we have written the factors, arranging them to get the common factors. And the common factors would be for 450 it is 2, 3, 3, 5, 5. So common factor is 3 into 5 into 5 that gives you 75 centimeter. Therefore, it means if we take 75 centimeter tape measure, it will measure given room exactly. That is no fractions will come out, only whole numbers will come out. This was your question number third. Fourth, determine the smallest three digit number which is exactly divisible by 6, 8 and 12. So the smallest number is always the LCM, that is the LCM of 6, 8 and 12. So 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 4 is a 8, 2, 6 is a 12. Again, by 2, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 6, 3 remains same, and 2, 1 is a 2. Here, 3 cancels every 1. So the factors are 2, 2, 2, and 3. 
it gives you 24 as the LCM. Now the smallest three digit multiple of 24 is when we multiply 24 by 4, it gives 96. It is two digit number, whereas 120 is three digit number. Therefore, smallest three digit number which is exactly divisible by 6, 8 and 12 is 120. Smallest three digit multiple of 24. Determine the greatest three digit number exactly divisible by 8, 10 and 12. So the solution would be, again we will find the LCM of 8, 10 and 12. So 2, 4 is a 8, 2, 5 is a 10, 2, 6 is a 12, again 2, 2 is a 4, 5 remains same, 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 1 is a 2, 5 remains same, 3 remains same. Now we will take 5, 5 is a 5, 3 remains same and at last we will divide by 3. So the LCM is 2, 2, 2, 5, 3. These are the factors and the LCM is 120. So the multiples of 120 are if you multiply by 8, it gives 960, which is a 3 digit number. And if you multiply by 9, it gives 4 digit number. But we are asked for 3 digit number, so we will tick 960 as our answer. Therefore, greatest 3 digit number exactly divisible by 8, 10, 12 is 960. This was your fifth question. Six, the traffic lights at three different road crossings change after every 48 seconds, 72 seconds, and 108 seconds respectively. If they change simultaneously at 7 a.m. in the morning, at what time will they change simultaneously again? So note, whenever some future event is asked, it will be the LCM problem. So at what time they will change? From here, we come to know that it is a future event. So, we'll take LCM of 48, 72, 108. So, 2, 24 is a 48, 36, 2 is a 72, 34, 2 is a 108. Now, 2, 12 is a 24, 18, 2 is a 36, 27, 2 is a 54. Now, 6, 2 is a 12, 9, 2 is a 18, 27, 2 is a, it doesn't go. Similarly, we will do for 3, 1 is a 3, 3, 2 is a 9, 3, 9 is a 27. 3, 1 is a 3, 3, 1 is a 3, 3, 2 is a 9. And last, 3, 1 is a 3. So the LCM of 48, 72, 108 comes out to be 432. Now these are the seconds. As the question was in seconds, we got LCM in seconds. We have to change it in minutes. So dividing by 60 changes it into minutes because one minute contains 60 seconds. So it turns out to be 7 minutes, 12 seconds. Now we will add it to 7 a.m. This is the adding way, addition way. Seconds with seconds, hours with hours, minutes with minutes. So therefore, lights will change at 7 hour in the morning, 7 a.m. in the morning, 7 minutes and 12 seconds simultaneously again. 7. Three tankers contain 403 liters, 434 liters and 465 liters of diesel respectively. Find the maximum capacity of the container that can measure the diesel of the three containers exact number of times. It is not asking for fractions, exact number of times. So the maximum capacity would be the HCF of 403, 434 and 465 and it turns out to be 31 as shown in the solution part. So this is the way to get the HCF. Therefore container of 31 liters capacity can measure diesel contained in three different tankers exact number of times. That is no fraction would be there. It will just measure in exact quantity. So what does it mean? It means if you take 31 liters capacity then it will measure 13 times for the 403 liters and 14 times for 434 liters and similarly 5 liters of 15, 15 times for 465 liter quantity with 31 liters of capacity. So this was the question 7. Eighth, find the least number which when divided by 6, 15 and 18 leaves remainder 5 in each cage. Such kind of questions can be solved by this way. First we will find the least number that is LCM of 6, 15 and 18. So 2, 3 is a 6, and 2, 9 is a 18, 3, 1 is a 3, and 3, 3 is a 9, 3, 1 is a 3, 5 remains same, 3, 1 is a 3 again, 5, 1 is a 5. So the LCM is 2 into 3 into 3 into 5, it is 90. Therefore, required number is 90 plus 5. We just add that remainder to the LCM. So that will be your answer. So this is how you do such type of questions. 
So this means that if you now divide 95 with 6 and by 15 and 18, it will leave 5 as a remainder. So this was your question number 8. Nine. Find the smallest four-digit number which is divisible by 18, 24, and 32. Again, the same thing. Smallest number would be the LCM. So two nines are 18, two twelves are 24, two sixteens are 32, two six are 12, two eights are 16. Then you have two threes are six, two fours are eight. Then again by two, two twos are four. Again by two, two ones are two. Rest remains same. Then with three, three threes are nine, three ones are three. One remains same. And at the last, three ones are three. So the multiples of 288 as the LCM is 288 into 3 gives 864. But if you ask for four digit number, it must be smallest. And when we multiply it with four, we get the smallest number that is 1152. Therefore, smallest four digit number divisible by 18, 24, and 32 is 1152. So this was your question 9. Tenth, find the LCM of the following number. 9 and 4, 12 and 5, 6 and 5, and 15 and 4. So observe a common property in the obtained LCMs. Is LCM the product of two numbers in each? We have to find it. So we have found the LCM here. 2 is a 4 and 2 ones are 2, 3 is a 9, 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3, and the LCM is 36. And for the other part, 2 6 is a 12, 5 remains same, 2 3 is a 6, with 3 ones are 3, LCM comes 60. Now, 2 3 is a 6 and 3 1 is a 3. So this is a very simple way to get the LC. And for the 16, 2 15, same. And uh, 3 5 is a 15, 5 1 is a 5. It gives you LC in 60. The common property each LCM is a multiple of 3. You can see that. 36 is also a multiple of 3. 60 is a multiple of 3. 30 again. And 60 again is a multiple of 3. And the, another question that was asked was is LCM the product of two numbers in each case? Well, yes. If you multiply the number 9 4 to 36, so LCM is 36. 12 into 5 is 60 again. LCM matches here as well. 6 into 5 gives you 30. LCM is 30. 15 into 4 is 60, so LCM is again the 60. Yes, each LCM is the product of its two numbers. So it is question 10. 11. Find the LCM of the following numbers in which one number is the factor of the other. Yes. What it means, 5 is a factor of 20, 6 is 18, and 12 is 48, 9 is a factor of 45. What do you observe in the results obtained? So we will find the LCM for the same. So here, uh, LCM for the first part is 20, and LCM for the another 6 and 18 comes out to be 18. LCM for C is 48. Similarly, for D, the LCM is 45. Question A was 5 and 20, and the highest number was 20. So the LCM is 20 here. Therefore, what we have observed is each LCM is the highest number of the given number. So this was your question number 11.